Okay. I thought maybe you and I could form some kind of intentional community. We could have free flow and wine, flying cars, and none of our parents to keep us down. We could stay up late and point lasers at skyscrapers from our bodies instead of these gross ones. Don't eat with vodka, ice cream for breakfast And I was become a little on our SAT scores I'll be the king, and so will you We will have children and we'll also call them the kings Six day weekends, <laughs> weekday orgies But best Sundays, all this just for you Wow, Boots. Boots! Yay! <laughs> on the 12th hour of Garbage Day, my true love gave to me some... And in the room this hour, we've got <laughs> Lemon, Achilles Heelys, Bump Girl, Bunny Bread, Zarla, King Lou Fernandez, King Lou Fernandez. <laughs> and our artist for this hour is Hux. That's right. We are in the 12th hour of Garbage Day, friends. When we get done with this, we will be at the halfway point. Oh, good. That feels great on my neck. Okay, fantastic. Um, the total that we're at at the moment is $6,069.69, a total to be very proud of. <laughs> no. um, we might end up blowing that open, though, because we've got a battle coming up uh, very shortly. Once again, uh, raising money uh, for the National Network of Abortion Funds, uh, not just the uh, funds for the abortion itself, but for uh, the mechanics of making those abortions happen. Uh, sometimes women in need will need, you know, transport or uh, child care. Uh, the NNAF does all of those things. So a uh, good thing to donate for. Um, but... Uh, as the song pointed out, we're talking about intentional communities. Um, this is a content uh, compiled by Sphagnum. Intentional communities uh, have a very, very good domain name, uh, which is ic.org. So congratulations, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, the Fellowship for the Intentional Community. And, uh, you know, we could... Uh, I could tell you, I could explain a little bit, uh, but I don't think I should because we can just go to the about page. So, uh, Zarla, mm -hmm. welcome, by the way. I uh, hope you're feeling very uh, chipper and not yet broken by any of this shit. I've got energy. Oh, <laughs> what's, that energy. Like? what's that like? It's unusual. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the fellowship uh, for the intentional community, uh, if you could just uh, read some of this about page here. Let's see. Vision. We believe that community is an essential building block for creating a cooperative and sustainable world. The structures and wisdom of community are both a means and an end to meeting the needs of all people and the planet, and must be available, understood, appreciated, and developed. We envision cooperative communities of all kinds working together to meet these needs. Our mission okay. is to support and promote the development of intentional communities and the evolution of cooperative culture. Our primary focus at this time is the U.S. and Canada. Our objectives, to provide and facilitate access to resources that support the creation, development, and maintenance of intentional communities, mm -hmm. to provide accurate and comprehensive information about all forms of intentional community, to make significant contributions to the articulation and promotion of cooperative culture, to create opportunities for the public to, oh, there's a pop-up. Great opportunity. <laughs> Great opportunities for pop-ups. Uh, for the public to learn about and experience intentional communities and cooperative culture, <laughs> to disseminate broadly <laughs> what is being learned in intentional communities, to develop the network of intentional communities for the sharing of innovations, information, and other forms of mutual benefit, to identify an important to the world of intentional communities, innovations in technology, economics, governance, cooperative culture, and other areas that could benefit them, and to ally with other movements and organizations that share our values, learn from them, share what we have learned, work together for mutual benefit, and to raise awareness of the worldwide movement towards sustainability, cooperation, and social justice. So not a lot of specifics in your mission <laughs> statement like it's just sort of like generally do good stuff right <laughs> No, it's, there's a lot of focus on telling people what they do but i don't know what they do still <laughs> like cool. i have no idea cool we Actually. tried uh <laughs> yeah so uh so healy's uh-huh uh you got the document open right now right Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. Um, so I'm going to uh, draw your attention to uh, some Latin, uh, which is great. Um, mm -hmm. So, Civitas Libera. 
Yes. Civitas Libera, Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Okay. Regina? I don't know. Mission statement. In end to poverty. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> community uh, description. Imagine a community with no need of currency. <laughs> a community with no poverty, starvation, homelessness, or greed. A community in which everyone had a warm home, plenty of food, and proper medicine. Oh, baby, I can imagine it. I propose just such a community. A community powered by wind, solar, and geothermal energy. A community with all the modern conveniences that a standard community would have, only its citizens were totally provided for. Financial resources we pooled to build a store, clinic, school and pharmacy in order to purchase goods at cost for distribution among its citizens without paying the high price of retail. I've played a lot of Civilization. <laughs> you get the voice for it, too. <laughs> Actually, more likely Age of Empires, too. <laughs> Some citizens would work outside the community to help provide its citizens with the capital required to sustain itself. Capitalists! Oh my god, we gotta leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Required to sustain itself, and some would work within the community to provide services for its citizens. Any and all opinions are encouraged and welcome. Yeah, but any... Because <laughs> well, I've got some unkind ones. Are those okay? <laughs> no, mostly just my good opinions. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Uh, the next mission, uh, so if you go to, uh, ic.org, you've got a directory of all of their many, many missions. Um, and the next one, uh, is, uh, in New York, uh, in a city that I'm sure you're familiar with. I don't know if, I mean, how much you know about, uh, New York geography, uh, but it's in mm. Guyaville. Yeah, that's, that's oh, right. Yeah. That's in Brooklyn. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, uh, Bunny Bread, uh -huh. tell me about Heart Tribe Village and Chrysalis, please. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. How you doing? Hey. Oh, oh. Hey. 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 All right. Welcome to Heart Tribe Village and Chrysalis. <laughs> Our mission statement over here in Guyaville <laughs> is, you know, to get you going on that eco-spiritual living, loving, healing, through <laughs> deep, deep listening and heart connection with all beings. Okay. Okay. With me so far? Yeah. Right or wrong? Right right. A yeah, new description here. All right. So we're currently forming Heart Tribe Village based on a fifth dimensional paradigm for communal living. <laughs> As we join Gaia or Gaia or whoever the fuck, woman God, in her ascension process during the great shift that is in progress now, we too must shift and change and let go of the old ways that no longer serve the good of all. It's time to open our hearts, witness our emotions, heal our pained bodies, transcend our egos, and all this bullshit while I said that I'm jerking off. All right. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We are starting with a small group of wise broads who are embodying <laughs> the divine. They're embodying the divine feminine, learning to matrix surf. Right? Ooh. Oh, oh. Are you with me? Oh, okay. I did. Yeah. Well, you will, broad. And <laughs> shifting our DNA through various shamanic practices and quantum technology. We are learning to witness our egos and rise above them as we center in our inner wise selves and live from the heart. We are reach cocooning and going within to do our inner journey or whatever through the fall and the winter of 2017 to 2018. We're going to have that shit wrapped up. We're union. Cool. Don't worry about cool. it. Cool. Cool. By the summer solstice of 2017, we plan to each build or acquire a mobile tiny home with which we can eventually form a caravan and have our first gathering. Huh? All right. This will enable us to be flexible and go with the flow of the earth, changes, and cosmic events, as well as political and economic upheaval. Heart Tribe will be a communal, residential, nonprofit community. Couldn't see that shit coming, could you? That is resource-based and built on a foundation of joyous co-creation with Gaia and all who live upon her. 
We are invoking the energies of the divine feminine in the whatever's realms. Devic? <laughs> Device realms. We're the leader of the E. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. are taking full responsibility for our creations both individually and collectively. Most importantly, we are learning to live from our hearts and in unconditional love so that we may model a new paradigm for the planet based in a gifting economy philosophy known in Africa as Linux. All right. <laughs> I'm real proud of that one, by the way. Wow, you knew that one. Uh, yeah, no, Ubuntu. <laughs> oh, Ubuntu. Okay. Eventually, we intend to build Hobbit-style earth houses, partly underground, and become 100% off the fucking grid. Everything <laughs> we do is intended to be in harmony with the local nature spirits. You know local nature spirits in Brooklyn? As they have done in Finhorn, Sirius, and Paralandorania. Uh, and a co-creative venture where deep listening is paramount. We also embrace the ancient Mayan idea that time is art and plan to practice a model, a more natural way of flowing with time rather than the current artificial clock, right? <laughs> Central to our vision is also the desire to create a spiritual retreat center huh? in the central common house dome called Chrysalis. Okay. This will be a place where people can come in, a uh, cook fucking coon, witness <laughs> a new way of life and be supported in their own personal metamorphosis. Then those who live in Heart Tribe will serve as their staff, teachers, mm -hmm. and healers who facilitate mm -hmm. Chrysalis retreats, events, art workshops, and play shots holy shit y'all this chrysalis <laughs> will be like an ashram where people find that their guru is way the fuck in there <laughs> we are envisioning using wind solar and geothermal power wow as well as creating innovative permaculture projects shamanic rituals composting fucking toilets y'all a home <laughs> school cooperative a labyrinth Wait, a labyrinth? A labyrinth. An <laughs> eco-spiritual mbop education program, local body exchanges, and possibly, hang on, a living machine to process gray waters. <laughs> Got me. I don't know. We envision starting out with a village of seven tiny homes and buildings, others as the demand arises. All members will be trained in spiritual empowerment and cooperative decision-making skills. Will they be trained in anything else or just the spiritual bullshit? <laughs> what have I been uh, saying? Geothermal we, power I'm just sure. happens when you want it to. Yeah. <laughs> we hope to begin building by 2018. I said 2017 earlier, so fuck that. Once the appropriate <laughs> location is determined somewhere in upstate fucking New York, okay. it is time as the tribe of many colors to create the future we all dream of. Because we... Are the ones we have been waiting for. Go Mets! <laughs> Smiley face. Uh, yeah. So uh, I want to uh, point out uh, once again we are uh, we are currently up to sixty one uh, seventy uh, sixty one seventy dot seventy. Uh, Achilles, Achilles uh, uh, look at some of those donations. Any of those donations interesting? So, so I really enjoyed Yay. the last two donations. One was uh, Public Enemy Number Six who gave us a dollar and one cent to fuck up the number so people will donate again. Yep. <laughs> and then yep. right before he could do that, right after that, ShameBoy69 gave us a hundred dollars so he couldn't break the funny sex number. So sorry, <laughs> ShameBoy69. Oh, man. But you know, you know who's at fault now. <laughs> there's, there's, still, there's, still, there's still more funny sex numbers. Well, you know, 6,900 <laughs> is a funny sex number. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, also uh, Asto Peck, uh, $100. Uh, Reddish, $100. Thank you for weed boobs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, we're going to see what happens with that number at this moment because uh, this is our 12 and in our 13 uh, it is up to you to decide now this is a decision it's not the greatest decision <laughs> what? so what so so, uh, They're usually so, so good. So your choices, uh, I'm going to put that up on the screen right now. Uh, your choices, uh, when you are donating uh, on garbage.live, uh, when you put in your donation, uh, it's not fetish. Oops, wait, it's not, it's not fetish. I didn't do that right. <laughs> Here we go. It's not a fetish? Uh, 
Cool. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so we've got a challenge up here, uh, and it is one of two. Uh, damn it, I fucked it up again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's not fetish. Uh, wait. Oh, God damn it. Okay. It's not fetish. And it's not. Good. <laughs> Doing it again. Cool. Fuck <laughs> you. Okay. This is I, fine. I think it's good. I this think is good. fine. <laughs> this is fine. This is all fine. Okay. Uh, so, uh, your choices. Uh, we can either... Uh, in our 13, and by we, I don't mean me, because I won't be here for that. Um, <laughs> uh, we can either uh, read a document called P-Fans, uh, which is Boots has put in the category of perverts for some reason. Go P! <laughs> so there is a document of P-Fans uh, given to us by Dr. Activisionary, uh, and there is also a snot fetish document that Many, many times we have started an F plus recording and have tried to decide uh, if we're ready for it. And we never have been. So it is up to you. Uh, if you donate uh, with the word P uh, in your donation, in your uh, donation notes, uh, you, that will be a vote uh, for the P fetish document. If you donate with snot, that will be a vote for the snot fetish document. I'll call that at, I don't know, like, 1040 or something like that. Ooh, we've already got $25 for P. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's for P. That's just not snot. <laughs> no, no, that's just... fair. That's fair. But, but, uh, but it was a, it was a donation by meteor shower as in meteor <laughs> shower. <laughs> Who wants P? <laughs> just remember, just so never fans vote know, for what though. you want. Always vote for what you don't want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Montreth has been harassing us about this not document for a while now, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm not going to pick a winner in here. That doesn't. There's no. <laughs> no, no. I'm not picking one. I'm just just yeah. letting them know. No, for you, sure. You, you can't pick a winner. Uh, so That's once impossible. Again, uh, yeah, yeah, at, at about losers. the uh, forty-minute mark, uh, we'll be calling that uh, for the uh, largest total. But I'm going to hit the Mba button. And then I'm going to say, "Hey, Lou, how you doing?" <laughs> Lou, the voice. Hey. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hello. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh, oh, it's two hundred and fifty dollars for snot. <laughs> Whoa! And uh, oh man, I love watching donation. the skeletons fuck down the street. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, oh, so Hawks, nice try. Lou, <laughs> we now have a project that's based in Honolulu, Hawaii, and it is called uh, the Organic Tribe Foundation. Uh, it's very uh, rational. Uh, it's very sensible. It's very mbop. <laughs> wiki, 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 wiki. Uh, oh, God. I... I love this fucking podcast. Um, uh, so, yeah, it is based in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. Hi. And uh, the <laughs> mission statement. Will you tell me about the mission statements of the Organic Tribe Foundation? The mission statements of the Organic Tribe Foundation are as follows. Shit. Zero oh, one. shit. I, I, you know, I let you in. I let you in. I let you in. And I need to do this first. I, uh, I'll, I'll hear about that in just a moment. Uh, Frank. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, no. No. Can you okay, so I went through a bunch of portals, one of which killed me as I finished the level, which was fine. And then I woke up in a room and it was really blurry and I shook my head around for like a full minute and started to get up. And then an, a creepy old man came in with a terrible mustache, walked up to me and then held his finger up to his lips to go shh and the game ended. <laughs> <laughs> Last I saw you were fighting aliens. <laughs> yeah, I saw you shoot a goblin with a shotgun in, a, in the woods. Yeah. Yes. Oh, those they those were clown aliens. Were shooting grays. I don't know if you noticed, but they were juggle aliens. Oh, I did know oh. that. Did they have like uh, did they have, like, juggle face paint on them? They, they had hatchets? like the big red smile lipstick and to definitely eye makeup too. Wow, so. wow this game might have been worth nine dollars, not seven. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it may not have been a good game, but I'm always there to support my juggle family. Yeah. Fuck twisted. Nine twenty-seven. I need to hit this again. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! It's not getting some goddamn love in here. <laughs> it's not podcast now. 
Not gay. Oh my god! Well, congratulations, uh, Frank. Uh, oh, wait, what's the, it looks what? like it looks like there's one more. This weird. There's like one more level. It's so weird. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. I wonder what this level. Oh, oh. I can't even imagine. I'm excited to see what this uh, the, what this the bonus. What level. happens assume, after he puts? I his assume finger it'll have like lips. the same like artistic direction as the other levels that we've seen. Is that accurate? Yeah, I think so. Like it'll probably look exactly the same as the so rest just of them. Like real like creepy, and then like it'll yes. that like weird. Uh, huh? That's okay. It feels like a little bit of a departure. No, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. I think. <laughs> okay. 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 Um, why like why is there the buttons why, for this level on this? Why? Why is there a logo like uh like you know credits in the beginning of this level? No, this is the post credits <laughs> oh, scene. This, like this in is the end of, of every game. No, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this oh my is God. just what it's been. I mean, I don't know if you've been. I guess you've been watching that closely, but this yeah, has been no, mostly. What oh, it you're right. Like. You're right. I feel like I feel like for some reason, what I'm looking at here seems familiar. <laughs> uh, Frank, I'm going to leave you. Uh, I'm going to leave you in this uh, recording just for a moment. I'm going to swap the slap the screens back uh, because I want Lou to tell me about the Organic Tribe Foundation. Before you go, though, can you, as the fish, can you try to fuck the guard? <laughs> you can try. <laughs> you can always try. Oh, 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 That's all I up. ask. Oh, P's catching up. Oh, no. Oh, this is very oh, exciting. God, some people care about us. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm personally for P. <laughs> yeah, ditto. <laughs> if, that, if that has any sway. Please <laughs> throw your money towards P. <laughs> Are you ready to hear about my fantastic organic tribe foundation? Yeah, I'm sure it's a well thought out plan. <laughs> it's uh, the yeah, mission statement. It's fairly simple. It's a series of numbered points I'd like to make. Zero one, sober, mm. accountable, responsible, transparent. Zero two, organic, honoring biology. <laughs> Eco logy. Zero three. Bay Lansing. I did it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Basically practicing practicing egalitarian principles. Zero four. <laughs> Equity. All innocent living beings have equal worth. <laughs> equal <laughs> opportunities. Zero five. Relationships. <laughs> Main <laughs> emphasis is on quality of he with he. happy <laughs> relationships, not on quantity. Requiring why ling participants <laughs> to investigate, validate what is true and beneficial in comparison to what is named delusional degeneration. <laughs> Wow. Big description is sober, organic, bay lancing, equitable, lab, responsible. Le. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Crystal we'll clear. See you soon. No, no notes. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Battle. Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> 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 so who knew that, that the uh, secret of charitable charitable donations was just pitting two terrible things against each other? I think yeah, I think we should consult for charities. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered P versus Snot as a tactic? <laughs> yeah, why why won't they recognize us as, <laughs> as an official? <laughs> uh, Frank, you beat two games this garbage day. I did. <laughs> two and arguably three <laughs> <laughs> certainly a bonus level that looks suspect congratulations uh so what what's 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 in store for you now do you have like some uh, sponsorship lined up or i just i just want to stop playing video games now i think i'm done with them oh my god yeah, we're all right, right. Right. but like for how long buddy we can oh. chill I mean, probably the longest I've ever gone without them, like a, an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just play Actually, I don't know, phone. I'm kind of feeling like Smash. Maybe I'll just go switch to Smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, well, 
uh, Frank, uh, you're going to be coming back at hour 21. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, find that, uh, that lovely woman named sleep, uh, and, uh, give her a big old hug for oh, me. Oh, okay? I don't do that. But <laughs> <laughs> Marry her, but make sure that she doesn't become corporeal and keeps her hair in a bun. All right. Let's mm. give, let's give applaud to Frank West. <laughs> Yay. okay great uh now we are uh i think we're gonna learn a little bit about uh oh okay uh the international temple of satan um that seems like a good thing (laughs) um so bump girl uh, this oh boy, is. Oh I've never been more excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Nova Scotia. When you think Satan. What is where? <laughs> uh, it is in the documents, which is oh. right here. Uh, there is no link, so get in that document, page number six. Satan. Just search <laughs> for Satan, and it's there. Yeah. Just yell really loud. Yeah. <laughs> oh, was that really loud? No, no, no. Just do it. That's an order. Oh, Satan! Good. <laughs> okay. Check, check. You, you um, wow. I'm just going to start talking about Satan. You the should. International yes. Temple of Satan is located in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Its mission statement is theistic Satanism. About uh, time. That okay. follows. Its community description is, The International Temple of Satan is a theistic, satanic, religious organization dedicated to the spread of Satan worship worldwide. In doing so, our goal is to make clear the true purpose and nature of Satanism, that it is a religion of light and human freedom, and that it is a positive force for personal and social change. Oh. The International Temple of Satan believes in a personal deity whose title is Satan, but who has manifested over history in many forms and under many names. Satan is the deity in charge of this earth, what? And wars (laughs) against other deities who wish to keep humanity in mental and spiritual bondage. Yeah, Satan! We worship (laughs) Satan not in a groveling way, but in a rocking way. But as those who understand that (laughs) worship... (laughs) <laughs> really means to ascribe worth. For us, Satan is worthy of our adoration and discipleship, and we freely offer ourselves to Mom, him. Mom, Satan, get up in this ass. <laughs> <laughs> our communal goal as theistic Satanists is to gather a worldwide community of Satan worshippers together in communal living spaces throughout the world, not just in Halifax. Yeah, but like, <laughs> why? Like, why bother? Like, <laughs> the fucking point? <laughs> As membership grows, we will begin implementing plans which we do not yet have for these communal living spaces, which we also do not yet have, where we will gather our resources, which we still do not yet have, and energy, which we have tons of, in the satanic (laughs) endeavor, so be it his name. We plan to begin forming these communities in late 2012, and I'm sure that worked out great. (laughs) Page not found, page not found. (laughs) <laughs> uh, that was the most disappointing Satanist I've ever met. Really? <laughs> well, so that's the only so Satanist. You bet you no met. Satanist, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, was, I was briefly a Satanist, but then I realized I didn't believe in anything. Oh. <laughs> said to offer that ass up, though. <laughs> but then I put my hair in a bun and I was safe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mantra says, uh, Snot is the worst thing I have ever done. That is why I want everyone to suffer. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to Boomtown. Uh, Achilles. Your balls are tug, you tit fucker. Fuck you, Shorzy. Uh, Achilles. <laughs> uh, Achilles, uh, would you tell me a little bit about Boomtown, please? Yeah, I can tell you about Boomtown. <laughs> Boomtown. Boom. Boomtown. <laughs> Bowdoin, Maine. Bowdoin, Maine. Hey, how you doing? Fuck you, Bowdoin, United States. <laughs> hey, Hello. it's playful. Boy, it's shared living. Boomtown is a community that is designed to keep the players buoyant. And listen and oh, wow. thrive in, so they can play <laughs> meaningfully in the projects and experiences that matter them, to them most. Mm hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Buoyant. <laughs> the children are unschooled. 
<laughs> an apprentice organically to the village. Very but cool. really, just like everyone else, they play in whatever feels meaningful to them. Okay. Very cool. I agree. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> when players get stuck or fall out of range... Oh, this is a video game now? Yeah. Um, when guess. players get stuck or fall... Huh? <laughs> when players get stuck or fall out of range of their own playability, we have a lot of helpful fairies and fairy gardens you can go and stick your hands in or go fly for a bit. Whoa, wait, what? Feel... Wait, what? <laughs> fairy gardens! This doesn't feel very sincere anymore. <laughs> Some people come to Boomtown to play deeply for a short while, and others stay forever. It's important to us to be able to travel and play around the world as much as any of us want to, so we're setting up the core structures to make it very easy to do so. Some of us want a launch pad to bounce off of and come home to. Some of us want to have our hands in the garden every day. The beautiful balance allows Boomtown to keep booming, playfully, authentically, and wonderfully. Uh, we're on two and a half acres in Bowdoin, Maine. Okay. Uh-huh. That's yeah. a lot of That should be fine. That should be good for about 10 people or something. With the intention to buy up the remaining 15 acres surrounding. Of course. We have a few smaller homes being used temporarily as a community house. When we finish the larger <laughs> central oh, one. Oh, we were, like, sleeping on our parents' couches for just oh, a little bit. Good. Until, good. like, we can get some money to buy, like, that empty lot. That All I the surrounding that land. Yeah. Yeah. Living in it. Yeah. We're going to, like, get most of Maine, so, you know. <laughs> Dad's like on it. This has involved, like, both uh, corporate phrases like core structures and fairy gardens. <laughs> <laughs> That's where San Francisco is going, though. <laughs> but is Maine? If you, if, you don't, if, you don't a, if you don't have a fairy garden, like, what the fuck are you even doing in a startup? I don't even know. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, yeah. most people want to live in yurts, in tree houses. Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> and eat and dance and play and meditate. On that point. <laughs> <laughs> eat and dance and play and meditate in the large central house and in the swing alley. Yeah. And, and on the trampoline. Yeah, yeah. And in the, the PlayStation way station what? where Woo! visitors stay. And in the art barn. <laughs> Art if this art. barn is a knocking, don't fu- Oh, shit. <laughs> Large central house is a bouncy house, right? I mean, I'm just assuming. Uh, or a fairy garden. So, so this With is Unschooled a- children. <laughs> uh, oh, I need one more of these. I need one more of these. Give your balls a tug, you tit fucker! Fuck you, Shorzy. Um, this is a project uh, from Katali, Kenya. Yes. Uh, it is called God's Last Church. Um, here's the mission statement. We want to be free from depending on the state, uh, or depend from depending of the state in water and electricity, grow our own food and feed animals and sell our meat and sell and for our meat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I eat only chickens and fish and want to lower the eating of dark meat as it can, as much as it can be done, grow our own fruit trees, create work for people that come back to us and financial help when people see that what we are doing. We also work against animal cruelty and educate by, by educate people. Right. Our community goal <laughs> is to be a role model, which is a model that is rowing, like a person that's in a rowboat. Never seen like a boat doing before. a really good job. He's pretty. He's a pretty rower. <laughs> a role model. Um, I want to be a role model. How to do things with solar system and satellite system. <laughs> do things with solar system. So wait, the I've chickens got a, are on the satellite. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a community description for you. I work close to God Almighty, and He is the true leader for this community. I try not to do anything without God telling me what to do. I was visiting Kenya in 2013, and they liked me so much. So I got a property <laughs> where I want to build a temple for a prey and healing. Together with God, did I healed people. And they gave me three houses in the area close to Uganda. When I was in Kenya. I want the goats back. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in Kenya, did God tell me that this church, the last church, should be built by poor people, poor both in money and in spirit? But will wealthy later on in spirit when they see how when they see and hear how God step closer? I have a school for refuses and orphans kids 
and need to build a reek school, like a school that smells bad, <laughs> and dorm for them to sleep in and be a big family, teaching our kids about what we are doing so they can help people in Kenya to understand and how to be independent. Independent. Oh. The, Who's letting these orphans have kids? The past <laughs> tense of independent. <laughs> uh lou yes uh would you tell me about uh to it's a uh by the way we've got but five minutes i'm gonna call five more minutes hashtag um, p win come on we can do it <laughs> i don't know it's not looking well they're still pretty close they're still pretty close uh but uh five minute mark uh i'm going to be uh announcing the winner whichever way it goes uh, but yeah, Enterprise, Oregon, uh, United States, uh, the Ascension Arts Retreat, TI International. So I guess okay. the Texas Instruments International Community. <laughs> or maybe TI the Rapper. <laughs> yeah, right. He comes up with every intentional community. It's just, he's everywhere. <laughs> Thanks for your interest in the Ascension Art Retreat, TI International Community. Uh, the mis- Our mission statement is Ascension Arts Retreat offers educational int- intentional community living we stomp out stalkers that try to slander or harm our innocent people ascension is a is rapid spiritual development our goal is tranquility rapidly (laughs) ascension is rapid spiritual development daily survival is easy for some yet is rough for others got it Mm -hmm. shut up Whoa, what just happened? Oh. Hashtag TV. <laughs> People don't like us. Oh, man. Good luck. Good luck, Lou. You just got your fans just got left in the goddamn yeah. fucking dust. There's a lot of love to snot, r- snot right over here. I think P just lost like $500. It's amazing. Yeah, it did. God, that's how bad it got. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> well, luckily, at Ascension Arts Retreat TI International, Daily survival is easy for some, yet rough for others. <laughs> Organized stalking victims require privacy, healing, dignity, respect, and love. <laughs> Welcome victims of organized stalking. May wish to heal, build trust, live privately, or expose criminals that lied, stalked, fabricated evidence, used cloned voice software, fake software for, to frame the innocent person, to incite select powerful people, mayor, (laughs) bishop, chief, against the unsuspecting innocent target of the crime network. They do this to ruin credibility of person and get more funds for Joint Task Force Fusion Center ops that hire pedophiles, (laughs) drug addicts, (laughs) neighborhood watch people. Come back. Neighborhood watch people as confidential informants that stalk, poison, and fabricate lots of false threatening assessment reports <laughs> of the innocent, innocent target of organized stalking killing ops. <laughs> this is a very specific community. Did you description? Why you ask Ascension? Uh, did I ask that? I don't remember no, asking I, that. No, no, it's not a question because there's nope. no goddamn question mark. It's fine. Yeah, it's a, it's a, nope. But seriously, why you ask? Why? Why? why you ask? That, this is just missing some punctuation. Ascension! <laughs> Daily right. survival can get rough when there are many slanderers as well as stalker killers. Stalker u- killers. Using <laughs> hidden warfare tactics. Additional tactics used include Massive slander campaigns, drive-bys, thefts, <laughs> false accusations, setups, use of unjustified NSA letters, <laughs> fake voice recordings, fake video group perjury, mm. staged what? accidents, yeah. incite others against him, two black slashes her, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> the distributed organized crime groups draft new players such as Cops, fireworkers to do atrocious, hateful spying, slanders, and worse. Holy <laughs> this shit. This person, this is, uh, 
a list making retreat, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I've got a bunch of things to announce uh, in a row. Holy crap. The, Thank you. <laughs> hashtag P win. The first thing is I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a screenshot to make it official and uh, kill that because in fact it is the end of that. Oh no 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 no! We can do it. Get it out of the wire. Hashtag P win. Oh, that was snot. That was snot. Snot. Oh, snot. 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 Not by a fingernail. Oh my god. Very, very close battle. Uh, but I do. That was very close. I'm so unhappy. Uh, I mean, you guys will just catch up on our muffs. I don't know how many are in the can here. Oh, no, we're done. Save okay, cool. Tree, drink your pee. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, that means that is an ever. Jesus. It's too late. <laughs> but never. Still donate. Doesn't it's matter. Not, yeah, no, no, no. It's Whether not pee or yeah. snot lost, don't get. Don't hold a grudge. Keep donating. <laughs> My God! I mean, just you know, mainly just uh, just donate to get more animated gifts in the fucking Hanson <laughs> thing. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so that is a uh, that is a very 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 close victory, but a victory nonetheless for Snot. Uh, congratulations uh, to everybody! Uh, and that battle uh, crucially means that at our twelve hour mark, we've beaten last year. <laughs> Woo! Good job, everybody. Uh, yeah, woo. yeah. It's the true yeah. power of snot versus pee. Thank you, snot. Yeah. <laughs> Has nothing to do with anything else, I'm sure. Any outside factors were probably not involved in this decision. I'm sure it was just the snot versus P. Uh, but yeah, our uh, last year goal uh, was, uh, or sorry, our last year total was uh, boob69, uh, $8,008.69. 8, uh, and we have already gone uh, several hundred dollars over that. So Fantastic. genuinely, that's so, like, that's... It's all very, it's all very exciting, and I'm really, 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 really happy about that. And yet, we're still going to read more dumb shit. So, Achilles, <laughs> yeah, uh, you got some dumb shit for me. <laughs> sure do. Cool. Welcome to Walnut Grove. <laughs> we're in Eldon, Missouri, the United States. Our mission statement is. The Digit High Code. Sorry, uh, Achilles, could you welcome me to Walnut Grove one more time, please? Welcome to Walnut Grove. <laughs> We're in Eldon, Missouri, <laughs> United States. <laughs> Our mission statement, the Digit High Code. Oh. Community description. Oh. Uh, it's uh, Star Wars meets Star Trek. We've got uh, gothics <laughs> slash pagan. Slash Wiccans, slash Freaks, slash Geeks. Oh, this is where they all went after I kicked all their asses. So good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wow. it here. Now just, you know where to yeah, find Yeah, I remember you guys. <laughs> you can finish the job. <laughs> We're also uh, transgendered steampunk gothic off the yeah. grid. Yeah, I remember oh. you saying that with my oh, fist man. up your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's steampunk gothic off the grid. Because <laughs> it's not a separate point. <laughs> Uh, I think we've I like the mainstream here. steampunk we got, we got a little bit of time here. Uh, so uh, people may have so, thought there was more, but there wasn't. That's it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Zarla, um, the Jedi is ungoogleable. <laughs> uh, Zarla, uh, I have an intentional community here. Uh, it is located in uh, Grenada, uh, in Spain. Um, and it's called the Badulina, the Badulina. Um, we got a little bit of excerpts here. Thank you very much, Sphagnum, uh, for this document. Uh, but, uh, we've got a little excerpt here, uh, Sphagnum has put together of the Badulina. Hmm. Let's see. Excerpts from Community Description. Badulina, also known as the Rainbow Terrace, exists about five years already. Okay. We are on about 350 meters high in the Alpujara Mountains in a valley called El Morion. We live on about four terraces with many olive trees and about two hectares of land in total. Things are changing constantly and comfort levels are slowly improving. One way or another, we are creating our life and together we are stronger. Together is much more fun. So join us if you feel so. Okay. Uh, I mean, this I, is I, almost I'm, as nice as the Satanists. That sounds, <laughs> nice, it sounds yeah. nice. It sounds nice. It feels like you do feel welcoming. I feel welcomed. Uh, but I wonder, is there anything that you could do to like convince me, convince me to join your community? 
Well, we do have a welcome song. <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Bottolina, Mr. Da Bottolina, Mr. Bottolina, Mr. <laughs> oh, you're stupid. Bottolina is also the title of the CD book and beautiful song made by Mystical Music Group, available in the lobby. When new people arrive, I introduce them with this song text. It goes like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to think of a melody. Bing, you. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> you and me, we gotta live freestyle, at least for a while till the day that we die. I know we shall find a place under the sky where love right. is the law and truth cannot lie. Who yes. you've been, where you going, have you coming from far? It don't matter for us in the present we trust. We know the worst criminal is a diamond covered in dust. Right. So, so what's welcome the back. Word your song mean to you? Like what like what's the definition of the word I song? Was to, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of a melody. Worse. Yeah, well keep thinking. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You traveled from far, and now you know you are not alone. We are millions, billions, praying for change. Today we shall unite, gather under this name, Badulina. Open up your gates, open up your mind, open up your heart. Three more times! <laughs> Officially nicer than the Satanists. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bunny Bird, I think I probably just have one more here. Um, yeah, yeah. I got right. one more uh, community uh, that I would like you to tell me about, no! and the name the name of that community is the Psy Trance Bisexual Community Smiley Face. <laughs> Woo! That's the name of the community, the Psy Trance Bisexual Community Smiley Face. Uh, they're located in the Netherlands. Uh, yeah, tell me about it, please. Yeah, they are. Welcome to the, the side trains bisexual community. <laughs> wow, yeah. We're no, located yeah. in Value, Netherlands. <laughs> Hi! Do you love the side trains? Are you bisexual? <gasps> if you said yes to both questions, then here is a piece of pie for you! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> side <laughs> way, but why side trains, you might ask? And why bisexual only, you might also ask? You silly pie with all so many questions, huh? <laughs> I feel a psychedelic trends will provide the glue that will hold the community together. Side trends has its own energy code we all know about and love. We can organize parties, and why not our very own festival? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, why not? We know if we all love the side trends, then we probably have much in the comments. Apart from our sexuality, then why the bisexuals only, eh? Yeah? I feel that if we are all bisexual, bi curious, bi hornies, open minded, <laughs> it would smooth out the sharp corners. Meaning, let's all love each other! But, 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 but. <laughs> also, if you, you know think, what? I'm okay, I'm a little horny. This is working. This is working on I me. say butts a lot, and you're going to be the hornies. <laughs> also, works. If you think about the symbolic natures of a bisexual person, he or she is, is both males and females. Yangs mm -hmm. and yins, fluffy and dark, you know those opposites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do you love both men and women? Are you a playful, colorful kitty and a wild tiger? Sideways, fuck you! Then <laughs> <laughs> me thinks you are my beautiful friend to be. Hey! Let's grow together and shine like the buttercup in the road. Be wild. Something kitty face. Fight. Kitty face fight. Love. Live. Scream. Roll on the floor. Put out the fire. Love some more. Sideways butts. <laughs> I'm running fast. <laughs> Spirituality, shamanism, allowed and encouraged. Wait, a wild, spiritual, loving tiger? Oh my, this is so crazy. I'm a faint right now. <laughs> <laughs> Community descriptions. Okay, I will use this to talk about logistics. I choose Dutch forests because they are in the midst of beautiful nature, but also close to Amsterdam cities. We are a short flight away to most European cities, like the uh, London, the Berlin's, uh, Walnut Grove, where the trans <laughs> scenes are awesome. We are in Europe, 
equals Psytrance Festival season in the summer. Oh, we got, we got, we got to wrap up on this funny bread. Well, cheers. Bye, bye. Funny bread. Before we wrap up on this, can you just tell me about the membership process uh, of for your bisexual will. community? The membership okay. process. All right. So, membership process is kind of complex. Listen them. Okay. You call me. I call you. We Skype. <laughs> I judge you with have close eyes. I sigh. You sigh. We attack each other. Roll on floor. Possibly fight a lot. I grab you while you try to make escape and bite you. You bite back. We roll on floor some more. I appreciate how the light shines on hair for a moment. And you take advantage of that. And you hate me. I cry. You say, I'm sorry. I love you. You love me. You're a member. Hey! <laughs> We learn anything from any of this F plus? Shit, no. <laughs> no. Uh, geothermal energy. We can just all do it. Let's just do it right now. Yeah, no just, biggie. Just, just, just plug your cell phone charger into a volcano, and you're good. Yeah. Key part of any community is a labyrinth. <laughs> I'm moving my Satanists to the Netherlands to the side uh, trans bisexual community. Yeah, like I mean, if I'm gonna join one of these fucking communities, uh, I want the Dutch one. That one seemed the most fun. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, yeah. I, I like the people. biting. I didn't love the biting. Uh, no. you won't notice. We're uh, too hard. <laughs> vanilla. I, li- I like these people better than most of the fuckers we read, but still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what Tyler man. Uh, yeah, that puts <laughs> us uh, that puts us uh, over the halfway point uh, by seconds. Um, we uh, will be coming up on hour 13, which, uh, as uh, some of you chose and some of you didn't, uh, is the snot fetish document. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was given to us by Montreth, uh and your host for this hour, for the upcoming Snot Fetish Hour, will be uh, Boots. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, we've got Boots as the host, uh, Healy's, uh, the intern, Bunny Bread, uh, yeah. and Starla twice. Uh, and, uh, I this is a really up. good thing for the intern to start on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I want to uh, uh, give some applause here to uh, Hux. Uh, two hours of uh, some very lovely drawings to see. I mean, uh, <laughs> close it, close it on a snot close up. There's the, mm. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> there's the money shot. <laughs> uh, thank you, Hux. Uh, rotating in a uh, new artist, and uh, we will see you soon. Uh, take a little walk.